Welcome to this edition of the El Segundo City Council Recap. I'm your host, Katherine Chen. Let's take a look at the items presented to the El Segundo City Council at their June 7, 2022 meeting. During special presentations, City Council proclaimed the month of June as LGBTQ Plus Pride Month in honor of our LGBTQ Plus residents, employees, and visitors, and encouraged all residents to celebrate the progress towards justice, equality, and liberty for the LGBTQ Plus community. Also, City Council proclaimed June 19th as Juneteenth Celebration Day. This day commemorates African American freedom and serves as a reminder of the inequities faced by African Americans throughout our nation's history. Council encouraged all citizens to celebrate, experience, and recognize the rich culture, heritage, and history of African Americans. Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Committee member Genesis Jackson accepted both proclamations on behalf of the community and thanked Council for their support. City Council approved the consent calendar, which included the adoption of an ordinance that authorized a multi-lot merger and resubdivision at 2000 East El Segundo Boulevard, allowing for the construction of the new LA Chargers facility, the Nash Street extension, and future commercial developments in the area. During staff presentation, City Attorney Mark Hensley presented a number of ordinances that pertained to the upcoming November 8th general election. Following the presentation, City Council approved a number of resolutions that called for a general municipal election of two council members and up to three ballot measures, requested that the county consolidate the city's general municipal election with the statewide general election on November 8, 2022, and set the requirements for candidate statements that are filed with the city clerk and included on the voter information guide. Mr. Hensley also presented on multiple resolutions pertaining to the Commercial Cannabis Voter Initiative, as well as the city's Competing Cannabis Regulatory Initiative and Commercial Cannabis Business Tax Initiative. Following discussion, Council approved resolutions to submit both the voter and city regulatory initiatives to the voters and authorized Council members to draft arguments for the city initiative as well as arguments against the voter initiative. Additionally, Council passed resolutions directing the City Attorney to prepare an impartial analysis of both cannabis initiatives. Both the initiative arguments and impartial analyses will be presented to the voters in the Voter Information Guide. And after discussion regarding the phrasing of the ballot tab language for the City's Cannabis Tax Initiative, Council continued the item and directed Mr. Hensley to revise the ballot tab language to clarify that voting yes on the tax initiative is not a vote for or against allowing commercial cannabis in El Segundo. City Council is expected to approve and submit the Cannabis Tax Initiative to the November ballot during their June 21st meeting. Following a presentation from Interim City Manager Daryl George, City Council authorized City staff to approve and execute a contract with NOR Systems, Inc. to repair the existing heaters at the Wiseburn Unified School District Aquatic Center. The repair work is expected to be completed by the end of September. Human Resources Director Rebecca Reddick recommended that the City reclassify the Deputy City Clerk 2 position to Assistant City Clerk and reclassify the Deputy City Clerk 1 position to Deputy City Clerk. Following the presentation, City Council adopted the classification specifications for the positions and approved their salary ranges and examination plans. During public hearings, Customer Service Treasury Manager Dina Marsochi and Consultant Eric Johnson from Revenue and Cost Specialists, LLC, proposed fee adjustments to the fiscal year 2022 through 2023 master fee schedule and asked that Council adopt a resolution establishing changes to the schedule of fees and charges for City services. Following discussion and concern regarding a number of increased fees, City Council continued the public hearing to their next meeting, allowing them more time to review the fee increases with City staff before approving the adjustments. And after a presentation from Recreation Supervisor Ryan Delgado, City Council authorized the City Manager to execute a contract with Swoop, Inc., allowing them to provide beach shuttle services within the City during the 2022 summer season. Lastly, City Council announced that Michelle Keldorf and Jay Heschler have been reappointed to their positions on the Planning Commission and that Julie Stolnack has been reappointed to her position on the Recreation and Parks Commission. To watch the complete City Council meeting for June 7, 2022 and learn more about the agenda items covered, visit elsegundo.org or watch the meeting on Channel 3. The next City Council meeting will be on Tuesday, June 21st.